All right, so I wanted to talk about the Loot Lake event that's been going on in Fortnite Battle Royale for the past few weeks. Now, just a heads up here, I will be talking about some spoilers with this event. So if you don't want to hear what's going to happen, and this might happen even as early as tomorrow, then please uh, mute me or turn me off or do something. Get away from the video right now. But basically, the entire event has been leaked, so I know what's gonna happen, and whoever's seen the leaks know what's gonna happen as well. And trust me, this is gonna be quite the event. Now, if you haven't been following along with the event, let me get you up to speed. Basically, the Fortnite government, in quotes there, went around digging and looking for something, and they finally found what they were looking for in Loot Lake. And it's a pretty big object. It looks like a UFO of sorts. And there's five openings in the middle of this big silver dish. And since a few weeks ago, these big runes have been scattered across the map doing weird things. And all of them have required the community to do something in order for them to go into their respected place in that big silver dish in Loot Lake. So there's five of these total, and there's only one more that has to go in this object. Now before I show the footage, credit for this goes to the leaker Fort Tory, and I'll link his Twitter in the description. So apparently, when this final rune gets put into place here, then something big is gonna happen. So again, spoilers coming here, the big silver object is actually the vault. As you should be aware, Epic Games vaults objects and items from time to time. And they've always said that these items are never gone for good and they could and will return at some point. Now we've had several things put in the vault, including planes, the infinity blade, and several weapons. And when this big vault opens up, we the people, apparently, will get to vote on one item of the six that I'm about to talk about that will return to the game. How incredible is that? So as you can see, this is very reminiscent of when Kevin the Cube went down into Loot Lake. It was like a heavenly afterlife effect, and that's what this reminds me of. Now, the six vaulted items we get to pick from include the planes, the bouncers, the infinity blade, the grappler, the tack SMG, and the drum gun. So details on this are a little iffy. I don't know how this is gonna work. Does every player get to vote for one single item and then the majority wins? I'm not sure. Someone speculated that there's gonna be a top two. So everyone votes and then the top two get placed somewhere else and then we vote again. So that part is a little hazy, but what we know for sure is one of these items, whatever gets voted by us as the community, will make a return. Now you gotta remember, there are millions upon millions of players playing this game and a majority of them are newbie boobies. So when you look at this list, the planes, the bouncers, the infinity blade, the grappler, the tack SMG, and the drum gun, you gotta think from a noob's perspective, which one would the majority of the population vote for? And I gotta be honest, I have no idea. Me personally, I think I'm gonna vote for the drum gun. But there's positives and negatives to every single one of these. For example, the grappler is probably the worst one on this list. However, the majority of the competitive scene will probably vote for that, the grappler, because it doesn't really change the meta that much. Yeah, a really skilled player can use it exceedingly well, but most people suck with it, and they don't usually use it. And then you gotta think the really young kids will probably go for the Infinity Blade. Now, will we get the original blade that was super overpowered and everyone hated? Or will we get the nerfed one where nobody used it because it was so bad? Or is there gonna be a middle ground? I don't know about that. And what about planes? You know how many people love planes? Yeah, on social media, everyone hated them. But again, from a noob's perspective, everyone loved them. And again, what would we get? Will we get the nerfed one, the very last one that we had? Or will we get the original one that was super powerful? Now a good happy medium would probably be the bouncers. The bouncers were really, really fun. Great rotational item, great end game item, great escaping item, great offensive item. I mean, it just had an all around great purpose in the game. So I was surprised when this was vaulted. But already on social media, I've seen people say, well, that would be useless. There's already too many things that do exactly what the bouncers did. And then they gave examples such as the flintlock pistol or the glider redeploy or launch pads. But then we've got the two SMG. So if you didn't get to use the tech SMG, it was really, really strong. When the game first came out, it was pretty bad actually. Nobody ever used it. And then they buffed it and then they deemed it too strong and everyone cried about it, so they vaulted it. And then there's the drum gun. Everyone cried about this weapon. This is one of my favorite weapons in the game, but everyone said it was way too overpowered. So they nerfed it a few times and people still cried about it. So finally the devs just threw their hands up in the air and said, that's it, we're vaulting it. But basically the drum gun, if you didn't get a chance to use that, it's like an SMG and an AR hybrid with a massive capacity for ammo. You could spray and pray that for days and hit people cross map as if you were using a SCAR. 
It was very fun to use, but I admit it was pretty strong. Now, what we also don't know is how long are these gonna be out for? So if we vote for say the drum gun, is it gonna be out for a few days, a few weeks, a few months? We don't know. Or maybe they're just gonna trick us all and put it in some kind of limited time mode where the general public in like solos, duos, and squads wouldn't get to use it. I don't know, there's a lot of things we don't know about this event, but what we do know is that one of these six items will be making a return and it's up to us to decide which one it is. So let me know in the comments, I'm curious and I'm gonna try to put a poll up in maybe the top right corner. I don't know if it'll let me pick six different items for selections, but if it doesn't, I'll just do however many it lets me. And I want you guys to vote. And if you don't vote, then leave a comment letting me know which one would you personally vote back in the game. Again, it's planes, bouncers, infinity blade, grapplers, tack SMG, or the drum gun. Now, if you're wondering when this event is gonna happen, the leakers have speculated that it's gonna be tomorrow. As of this video, it's Monday. They say it's gonna be tomorrow, and that's gonna be at 12 o'clock Eastern time. That's what they speculate. There's no guarantee to that. So most people would be in school or college or at work. So I don't know if that's gonna be really the case, but that's what these leakers are saying. So Tuesday the 30th, 12 o'clock Eastern is what they're saying. Who knows if that's a reality or not. But I, for one, will be there. So if you miss the event, I'll record it if it does happen at that time and I'll post a video about it. But I have to imagine that this voting process will take some time. So it's not like the event's gonna happen, everyone votes right then and there, and then it's done. I hope that's not the case at least. Hopefully it'll linger around so everyone that has school and work and whatever can vote. So again, that's all there is to it so far. I just wanted to get you up to date on this Loot Lake event, get you up to speed, let you know what's gonna happen, and talk about those six items that we can vote on. But again, I wanna know your thoughts, so let me know in the comments. We gotta vote one thing back. What's it gonna be?